In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a 2D animated explainer video that I know is worth money because I personally have paid thousands of dollars for one in my own tech company. Animated explainer videos are used by companies of all sizes to explain their product and service offerings to their customers. An agency will charge $1,000 to $10,000 per minute of footage. This is a real email from last year when I paid just under $4,000 to have one made for my company, and it took them about two months to finish. I'm going to show you how to make one in about 45 minutes. With AI, you start by creating an image and then you animate it. I use a tool called Midjourney to make the image, but there's a free one called Leonardo AI you can use instead. If you want to use Midjourney, Google Midjourney Discord, sign up, click a newbie channel on the left side, type backslash imagine, and it'll make an image as you describe it here. So before we animate, we need an image in the style of an explainer video. I'm going to write what I want in plain language, and the only complex part is I'm going to add double hyphen AR16 colon 9, which just tells Midjourney to use a widescreen aspect ratio of 16 to 9. So now I'm going to get four image choices, and I choose the one I want to upscale to better quality. I'm going to click U2 to upscale the second image. Then I'll right click that image, save it, now it's on my computer. So once you have images like this, animation is actually easy. You just grab a tool like Pika Labs, type backslash create, and click the option to add an image. Now you can see there's a prompt section where I could specify an animation, like a woman typing at a keyboard. But to show how easy it is to animate, I only wrote the words a woman in the prompt and got these animations out of it. So now that you know how easy it is to animate, we're gonna wanna add more animations and we want consistency between all of them so we can make one coherent video. So I'm gonna give Midjourney four images that I want it to blend the style of throughout all of the images and then they'll use that in everything else that's created. I drag and drop in the images, then right click to copy the image address. Then I paste that image address link into my next prompt and it'll copy the style of the images that it's seen. So when I use four links, you can see that it's taking kind of an amalgamation of all the different styles here. So this time I'm going to show you a premium animation tool. You can still use Pika Labs, but this is Runway Gen 2 and as you can see, we can get different types of animation from it. So in a couple of minutes, you've already learned how to create the images in the style you want and animate them with Runway or Pika Labs. So the next thing to do is plan the video. So to plan the video, we're going to use probably the most famous AI tool, ChatGPT. And we can start by asking it what makes for a good animated explainer video. But the response isn't just for us, we're actually going to use it to get ChatGPT to stick to its own best practices. So we're going to say, using your own guide as a reference, write me a script for an animated explainer video. And very important is we list out the value props for the service offering or product that we have. So I'm going to make a mock video for myself here just as an example for us to go along with. And we're going to conclude by saying create a shot list. And this is ChatGPT now acting as a director for us to decide the different small animation videos we want to stitch together to make one long form explainer video. The last, I'm just going to tell it to make some color and style decisions for me and we're ready to go. So now I'm going to put ChatGPT shot descriptions into Midjourney to create my images. I'm going to use the image links I showed earlier, copy and paste the description from ChatGPT, and just end by saying we want it in the style of an animated explainer video and that widescreen aspect ratio of 16 to 9. Now, sometimes you might find though that there's things in your image you want to change. And in this case, I don't like some of the objects that are on the desk. So what I want to do is click Vary Region and highlight the part I want to change. Then just describe what I want to see instead of whatever object is there. So now I have a camera which helps establish that this is a filmmaker like ChatGPT asked me to, but the facial expression doesn't look overwhelmed like we were looking for. So I'm going to highlight his face and prompt Midjourney to change his facial expression. And now I've taken it to Runway Gen 2 and it's actually giving me a great animation where he grabs the camera off the table in kind of a depressed looking face which is perfect for the narrative. So my next shot is of an animated robot, and AI tools fortunately are actually quite great at animating robots, so I'm going to find one that better fits the style of my video, and I'm going to bring it to life using the tools we've been using. Next we'll use a free tool called Canva to pop up some text on the screen, so just create a design and use the video format. 
So now I can drag and drop my video right in. And on the left sidebar, I can click Elements to search for graphics that I want to overlay on top of the video. I can even click Animate at the top to animate my text and graphics. And then finally, I can bring this robot character into other scenes. I just drag the photo over top and I click Edit Photo and remove the background. And finally, if there's something in the image that I don't want, I can use the Magic Eraser tool to get rid of it here. So now I'm going to download this image from Canva by clicking Share at the top right, and then I'm going to bring that image to Pika or Runway and animate it. So the final step is just to add some sound, and 11labs.io has a great voice library. It has professional sounding narrative voices, and you can sample them and choose the voice you like the sound of, and then add it to your voice lab. And then from there, all you do is paste in the voiceover script that you got from ChatGPT and click Generate. And if you want some copyright free music, you can go to a site like Pixabay and just download the songs you like the sound of and throw it into your video in an editor. And there's many YouTube tutorials on CapCut and iMovie if you'd like to learn more about that. So let's compare a professional video with one I quickly strung together with no experience. Struggling to bring your creative visions to life? Meet The Real Robot, your AI filmmaking companion, with lessons to help you develop valuable AI video skills and production services that can do it all for you. All you need is an idea, and we'll bring it to life. Get started on your AI filmmaking journey today. Visit our website, Lights, Camera, AI Action. That was my very first stab at it, so with some practice, I think you could probably do a lot better than I did. So now with a skill, you can go and find customers on freelance sites like Fiverr, Upwork, People Per Hour, Freelancer, and a lot of marketplaces that are looking for these skills. If you want to learn to make more types of AI videos, go to therealrealbelt.com and sign up for my AI film courses and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.